in the last three lectures, we discussed about population ensemble. What is a population and what is a sample and why we need to collect sample from a population. After that, we also discussed a bit about the characteristic of a sample and how we can use the sample statistic to estimate the population parameter. Also, we discussed about the central limit theorem and for if you collect infinite number of samples and for each sample you calculate the mean, the distribution of the sample mean, the sample mean will fall into a distribution. Okay. And the distribution is more likely a normal distribution. At the same time, you also can calculate the characteristic of the distribution by using mean and standard error of mean. So the most important thing until now is that you understand that for the sample mean distribution is what we call the sampling distributions and for this distribution is a normal distribution and we can calculate the mean and also standard error of mean of this distribution. So if we know the standard error of mean and also the mean and our data is normally distributed then we can calculate the probability. So here is an example how we calculate the probability of an observation from a population. So we based on the observation distribution and we calculate the z value then we can refer to the z table which is a standard normal curve, standard normal table and then from the table we can get the probability estimate. So as you seen before, actually, if the data is normally distributed, we also can calculate the probability okay, for our sample, not only for the population, but for a sample. The formula is slightly different. Okay, so the notations. So what you have here in the observation distribution is the observation value. You have the population mean. On the other hand, for the sampling distribution, you have the population mean, you have a sample mean because you ask a question about the sample, and you have the standard error. So that means that you have to calculate the standard deviation and then divide by the sample size. So for the distribution of observation, the question that we ask is, what is the probability of getting a student with the body height larger than 165? for example. However, for the question about sample, what we can ask is that what is the probability we obtain a sample which the sample mean is 165 and the sample size is 10 okay, from a population with the population parameter given. Okay. So this is an example of questions. So just spend a few minutes and see what's the difference between them. So as you can see here, we have the observation. The question asks about observation. While for the sampling distribution, we ask about sample. Okay. And we also have a sample size mentioned here, okay, because we need it for our calculation. And when we use the Z test, okay, that means we know the population parameter. So the population parameter will be given okay, in the question. So in this case, for example, in this case, so what is the probability of drawing a sample okay, of nine students from a population and finding the mean of this sample? So this sample, the mean of this sample is 164. Okay, where the population is mean is 165 and the standard deviation is 1. Okay, This one is referred to the observation distribution. Okay, So you have a mean is 165 and the standard deviation is 1. Okay, Then what is the probability to obtain 9, okay, 9 students as a sample and after you obtain the 9 students, you have the body height measurement and then you calculate the mean 
and the mean of this sample of nine observation is 164. So what is the probability? So we can calculate exactly that how we, like well, how we calculate the Z score, okay? When we want to calculate the proportion of observation. So the only difference that you need to pay attention is this one, okay? So this is not an observation anymore, but it's a sample mean, as you can see in the questions. And also the standard error of mean need to be used. So that means that you have to calculate or get just get the population standard deviation and then divide by square root of number of students. Then you get the standard error. After that, you just complete the calculation, then you can get the z-score, and then you refer to the z-table to get the probability. So try to do this and see what is your answer. So good sampling are very important because good sampling means that you will obtain a good estimate for the population parameter. So there are type of estimation. So either it's a point estimate or interval estimate. Okay. So this is a way how we calculate the probability, whether we calculate at one point or we calculate for an interval. Okay, estimate. So this one is very similar to what we have done in the Z test. Okay. When we calculate the Z score for the observation distribution. So this is an example of point estimate. So we, we calculate the proportion of distribution of population mean. So in this case, is the mean is 165. So we want to know the probability of getting this sample. Okay. It's greater than 164. Okay, so this is what we call the point estimate. So we can calculate it easily. So we just put the sample mean, put the population mean. So make sure you calculate the standard error. So it's 1 divided by square root of 9. Okay, so it's divided by 1 divide by 3, so it's 0 0.33. So I just put here, and then you get the Z score. You refer to the Z table, okay? Then you get the value. Because the standard curve is symmetry, so in the Z table, they give you the maximum estimate of 0 0.5. So what you need to do, you need to calculate this part, okay? So just assume this part. So the Z table will give you this value okay but what you want to know is the probability of the other side so what you can do is just 1 minus the probability that you obtain from the z table then you will get the value the answer okay so another example is the interval estimate so this is how you calculate Okay, so what is the probability of drawing a sample of nine students okay, from a population and finding the sample mean of this sample is between 164 and 166. Okay. So this is what you are interested. Okay, it's between 164 and 166. It's somewhere here. Okay. So what you can do, you can do two calculations, okay, one for each of the sites. Okay, so this one and this one, you get the probability, and then we know the total probability for this standard curve is 1, so it's just 1 minus this probability and also minus the probability that you calculate. So we have to calculate this probability, okay, and get the value, then after that, calculate for the other side. Okay. Here, then get the value. After that, just minus, subtract each each of these. Then you will get this 
probability. So the interval estimate, sometimes we also call it as the confidence interval for population mean. Okay. So it's the same way how we calculate the confidence interval. 